Michael Sykes winning the championship, driving for the American Launch Energy Racing Team and then retiring. The team had the option to use car number one, but Chris Johans replaced Sykes, and as you see, the car number is 12. For the third consecutive year at the third different team, Johans' teammate will be Scott Stoidler, driving the number 13 that we normally associate with Alan Hodges, one of Stoidler's good friends off the racetrack. Hodges owns a team with Carl Walter, Hodges Walter Racing. Driving for them is Melanie Clevno in car number two. Clevno joining this team uh, after driving for Lynx Racing for the, uh, last year. This is Clevno's uh, second full-time assault at the title. Adrian Devereaux, the former two-time champion, will be alongside Clevno at Hodges Walter Racing, looking for his third Master Cup in four seasons. And driving for Volpe is Alessandro Rossini, the very popular Italian, moving over to the uh, very popular Italian team, joining four-time series champion Leonard Roderick in his usual orange car number four. Now we go to the new Lennard International team, formed by several former staff members at Alert. Luciano Savaral is taking on the role as lead driver over at Lennard International. It should be a very interesting pairing. Alongside Luciano is rookie Jacob Card from Canada. Card hoping to make an impression after winning last year in Australia. And driving for Gessler is Kevin Dwyer in car number eight. Dwyer replaces Matthias Taub. This is a very interesting move for Kevin Dwyer. Hopefully we'll see him in victory lane several times. And alongside him uh, is Arto Kekkonen, the Finn, who is becoming very much a staple over there at Gessler Richter. Now, the team normally considered to be the Gessler B team is Lynx Racing. Yulian Asova drives car number 10 for Lynx Racing, replacing Melanie Klevno, who of course has moved over to Hodges Walter. Davina Henton, last year's Cariola winner, will stay in car number 11. Driving for Cats of Engineering is Carlos Raquetta in car number 14. Raquetta, the Colombian, is making an assault on Rookie of the Year. And fan favorite Yevgeny Kuznetsov is still there as Katsov's lead driver in car number 15. Not, not much has changed at Power Steering Incorporated. Kurt Pliskin driving car number 16, and Greg Woodard is driving car number 41. Very solid driving lineup and a very solid car. We should see some good results from them. Manicore Engineering bought out the old Nomoto program, and Lewis Kingston will reassume his role as driver of car number 17. But alongside Lewis Kingston makes a very interesting lineup. Packer Carroll on the Ultor machine. Uh, hopefully this will be a brighter future, brighter future for a better career for Packer. And now we move over to the new DeGarmo Delgado Enterprises team with Tom Moore driving car 19 and Brandon LaRoe in car 39. Very inexperienced driving lineup in last year's Lycoya. Driving for the Melrose Racing Team, new team on the block, Matthias Tau moves over there, as we mentioned last season, in car number 21. And Peter Short will drive alongside Matthias Tau in car number 22. This is Melrose Racing Team's first full-time assault on the Master Cup. Team Star USA is back with rookie Joe Olenek in car number 23. Olenek has uh, quite a bit of experience, actually, even though he is very young. He drove in quite a few different series over the past few years. He's used to hopping around new machinery. Cameron Taylor finally gets a go at a full-time ride in car 26 alongside Olenek. Driving for everyone's favorite backmarkers, Scuderia Tutino, is Benoit Vukler, who will uh, assume the title role as driver of car 42. And Ben Atkins in car number 50 will once again be uh, driving for Tutino. Zelda Ashby makes a move over to Black Diamond Racing after nearly winning the title for FPO last year. Ashby driving uh, for the Black Diamond Racing Tremwell squad alongside Portuguese driver Gaspar de Souza. The famous 74 of the Michelin Suns will be driven by Axel Andersen of Sweden, a rookie who's qualified for Cariola in the past. Chris Davenport is alongside him in car number 84. Uh, Davenport was last year's Rookie of the Year. Not much changes at Team EFR. Scott Bates returns in car number 88 in the Custom Carts car, and his teammate is Ian Cooper, once again driving his usual number 777. Now we go to two teams that have had a very rough offseason. Maximus Racing is a new team with Azuma Kazuyama as their only signed driver at the moment. Car number 94 does not have a driver announced, but there have been several people they have been talking to. The 18th and final grid spot went to Velocity Motorsports. However, we haven't heard very much from them. It's been a very rough offseason for them, securing drivers and sponsors, and we hope that they get everything sorted out before the first race of the season, which is going to be, once again, the round of California.